Bum, 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 bum. Too quiet? Too quiet? <laughs> oh yeah! Notifications! Man, it is hot in here! <clears throat> I'll need these. Hello, hello. Happy day. Let me know how the audio levels are. Let me know how the audio levels are. First, landed. Oh, darn it. I put chat. I put my phone right on top of chat. Pop out, pop out, pop out chat so I can see all of your messages. Um, I'm gonna start off a little bit, a little bit slower than usual because I usually I'm looking at my cameras like I'm actually streaming. Because <laughs> um, I usually give out like five minutes, right, for people to show up, get their stuff in order after they, um, after the notification comes in. <laughs> so um, a bit of a slower start, but. We will be unboxing this Fallout Gaming Loot Crate Crate. This week is like so tiny. So tiny. Um, the quality that I'm getting is horrible. It's kind of blurry. I know what that issue is. Give me a sec. Alright, this should be better. It should be less blurry. This should, oh dear, now it's, now, <laughs> now it's just replaying old chunks. Let's see, one, two, three. Oh, looks like it's working. Uh, so I'm not streaming on my internet at all right now. I am streaming on my cell phone using LT. Yes, LTE is what we're using today because I don't have internet still don't have internet and I know you guys don't care you don't care whether I have internet or not you just want me to make you good content and so for those of you who do follow me on Twitter I apologize for being a ranty who knows what pain in the butt I am just so 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 disappointed um, with my Comcast one sec let me tweet this out we live on my phone on boxing fallout loot crate with that fallout music in the background we deeply care comcast throwing off your tuesdays throwing off your tuesdays dude i have been unable to do a typical gaming stream on a tuesday this is now my third week in a row where i'm just sitting here and it's like I am texting Comcast, I'm DMing Comcast Cares nonstop all day and have been for the past couple of weeks. Um, I have the personal phone number of the supervisor, the Comcast supervisor for my city. <laughs> and um, I have been texting and phoning him every single day and he's just actually stopped answering my phone calls because I think he's bored. Like not, sorry, not bored. I think he's just sick of me annoying him. But it's like, um, it's like, I need upload to be able to do my job here with you on the internet and I am not getting it, unfortunately. So, um, I just keep calling them and I just keep getting nowhere. Your city has fiber. My city has fiber, just not in my building. There's nothing I can do. What's up? Filter, how's it going? David Heritage, Scotty, Mike Riston, Colby is here. Colby is done with me. He's like, A, you're not streaming Breath of the Wild, and B, you're not playing a video game, so I'm just totally done. I'm over it. <laughs> Major Bolt, hello. Typical gamer fan. Yes, we do have a Fallout Gaming Loot Crate. This is um, once every two months you get a new crate. This one is, I don't know, there's money in it. Um, this one is very, very tiny. What's up, Jalik? What's up, Leif? Leif, I'm so bummed out. I'm so bummed out. Rafa is here. Oh, you guys are here. You're here. <sighs> oh, yes, I'm so bummed out. 
Whoa, typical gamer. Wait, TG, the real TG. TG, I'm having a Rogers issue with the Rogers of the United States. My Comcast internet is down and has been down for three weeks. What do you do, Nan? Have you ever run into this issue? I have tried calling and texting and emailing everybody I can get a hold of, but Comcast just refuses to fix it. I have literally zero upstream. You had to move because of Rogers? Yeah, that's what everybody's telling me now. People are saying, like, you should just move your apartment so that you can get back to streaming. It's like, I've been here for six years! I don't want to move! <laughs> oh, Canada has Comcast? Oh, God, I'm sorry. You moved across the country? I don't... TG, I'm coming to move in with you, man! <laughs> I'm gonna share internet with you and, and Samara. What's up, Dada? Hey, Dylans, welcome, welcome. Um, I have been calling other providers. Uh, any other provider in my city, I have been calling to say, do you, ha do you offer what I need? And they don't. Uh, my building is only wired for Comcast. Vinny, what's up? Vilter, just stream at the office. That is an option. It is an option for me to go to work because work has internet. <laughs> um, but like, can't bring my green screen, can't bring my cameras and my microphone and this new beast of a PC that I just cannot wait to play the most gorgeous games on ultra high graphic settings. I can't do any of that at work. I only have a laptop. I've got a MacBook Air at work. Convince a uh, YouTube place in Vancouver. Oh, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish myself and another person in my, in a similar role um, at the company I work at. Um, we desperately would love to move to uh, Vancouver. He's Canadian also. We send each other pictures of sweet houses in like West Van and stuff that we would love to live at. Do my neighbors have zero upload? Yes. Um, so one of my coworkers, he lives in the apartment building beside me. He also has zero upload. It's affecting everybody in my neighborhood. It's great. This case is small enough to be mobile. You get out of here, man. What's up, Dustin? How's it going? Boax, you didn't get a notification? I did. I did today. Satellite would be fantastic. Gotta love Comcast. Oh, damn, the man. How's it going? TG. Oh, TG just made your night. Typical gamer, so typical gamer fan is saying that the real TG who's in here, <laughs> um, we just made his night. TG, I'm always, I am always honored when you drop by, especially for horrible jank streams from my phone. Ugh, I was gonna suggest daisy chaining. Oh, I wish. Um, problem is, I just got a new beast of a PC, and I want to be able to stream on YouTube in 2K, 1440p. I want to be able to do it. I have the firepower, horsepower, whatever, to be able to encode. I don't get the, I don't get the bits, the bits to go up. Want to throw a fist bomb now? Nah? Ooh, oh, I shouldn't do that. I'm gonna, like, my phone is precariously on top of my mic and balanced against my monitor. <laughs> Just chilling, planning out your last week in Hawaii? Mmm. You heading back to your real recording setup? If so, we got to we got to do our collabs. Horsepower, firepower, you know, same thing, same thing. Got the engine, but no gas. I have nothing. I have nothing, and I'm so bummed. But I do have this box of junk. Yes, that's right. This box of junk that I pay fifty dollars for. It cost me entirely way too much money. What's up, Dark Jake? Um. And I want to see what's inside it. This has been the smallest box that we have ever received. Look at how tiny this thing is. Look at how small. I don't know how possibly we could have $50 worth of quality in here because it is so small. I don't know how we do it, but we're going to see. What's up, Eric? I'm using my phone. How's the quality? Fuzzy. <laughs> you missed your chair and your beast of a PC. Oh, I got it. It's so small and mirrored. Yep. Yep, that it is what it is. It is what it is. What's up, Kenny? How's it going? It's backwards. I promise you it says Fallout Loot Great. Fallout Great. Let's get some skizzers when you got a Ferrari but no garage. Or when you got a Lambo. TG is a Lambo. Too many people in chat? What? Just enough people in chat. We have 38 people here. Be sure to hit that like button while you're in here. Um, if I had my... I had my button that I could press.
Barb phone stream equals more viewers? No. Well, I guess that one like two weeks ago was insane. <laughs> Rambo, what's up? Okay, so cut the, cut the sticker. Let's see. I also, I don't know the theme for this month. I keep looking at my cameras like I'm talking to you guys. Don't look at webcam. Look at, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what the theme is. I don't know what's going to be in here. Black. The theme is black. What's up, Flamingo Vlog? Who's this, Dance? Who is this? <laughs> I don't know who it is. Okay, so I'm going to leave the box kind of closed down here. And I'm just going to keep, I'm going to reach my hand in and grab the first thing. So I'm going to grab the big character in the box. <sighs> Did any, oh, I keep, here, let me show the webcam. Does anybody, hey, Landon, uh, Jonathan Ortiz, oh, too much, too much glare. Does anybody care about stinking paladin dance? He's not even wearing power armor! I'm just gonna throw this out. I don't like this! <laughs> uh, loot crate, screenshots, paladin dance, and the brother to steal. Soldiers come and they go. Some are brave, some are honest, some are even downright heroic. But no one quite compares to paladin dance, commander of the Re recon squad, Gladius. Good companion, power armor enthusiast. How many times have I nuked dance? How many times? Dance is such... The reason that I never liked playing him as... Having him as a companion... Give it to Comcast Tech. Here, take this present. How much is this Fallout crate? It's $50 a month. Um, so I'm going to take it out and set it up with the other junk over there. You can actually, you can actually kind of, you could see them at one point. I keep all my other Fallout things over there. Um, he's just too, like, stick in the mud. Oh, you know, like, I want somebody who has a bit of spark. That's kind of why I liked Deacon. Every time you turned around, or every time you fast traveled, Deacon had a different costume on, so you actually, you never knew who Deacon was, except he was, like, whatever the thing was that was close to you and talking was Deacon. He always looks slightly different. What's up, Christian? So I liked that. Um, I also loved Raul from Fallout New Vegas uh, because he was just hilarious. He was grumbly. He had a personality. He was snarky to heck. Loved it. $50. It was $50 every two months. All right. So, this is Paladin Dance. He is boring. He's boring as a character. He's boring. You know what this looks like? Suppose you had zero context, okay? Take, take the context of me, the stream, the title, everything. If I show you this, what do you think this looks like? To me, this looks like a rebel pilot. Orange suit. This like this looking jacket. This looks this looks like a good guy Poe's jacket, right? Like the face doesn't look like Poe, but this looks like a like a rebel space fighter, like a rebel pirate, pi a pilot. This is this is not Fallout. I mean, I guess when you like stick him so his feet. These things never actually fit. So he has a little stand here. Yeah, these things these things never fit. Oh, that's so quiet. Oh, okay, squished it. So I guess with this, it kind of looks like you know you can see that it has this fallout thing down here, but no, this looks like a dude dropping a duke. Oh my God, Rayvon! <laughs> um, yeah, this just looks like a Star Wars Rebel pilot. All right, next thing out of the box. Ooh, t-shirt, t-shirt, I feel squishy. It's black, I'm done with black t-shirts. So, bong, bong, bong. Okay, 
right, what does it say? Probability of mission hindrance, 0%. Democracy is non-negotiable. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Who, who is this? Is this from the, the Fallout 4, the robot automaton thing? Is this Liberty Prime? Because Fallout 4 people make such a big deal out of Liberty Prime. Literally did not know it was a thing until I was asked to go somewhere randomly and I had zero contacts and it's like, go kill this thing. And I walked up to the top, shot a bunch of things, killed it, and then they're like, you beat the game. I was like, wait, what was this robot I was on? I have zero context. This is Liberty Prime. Okay, this is gonna be a gym t-shirt, right? Cause like I could always use some more gym t-shirts that I don't have to do laundry, but lame. Epic. You want it? It's fifty dollars. <laughs> okay, hand of the box. Oh, I keep showing on the wrong camera. Hand of the box. It's like a Star Wars T-shirt. Okay, I got this little. What does this say? Fallout Factions patch set. This had better have Velcro on it. That would be so cool, guys, if it had Velcro. Let's take this plastic off. Okay, this is cool. They don't have Velcro, but I'm gonna go buy Velcro. What's up, Richard? Okay, so we've got three patches here. So one from the Minutemen, one from the Raiders. Not that I would ever recognize this logo as a Raiders logo. And then this one is the new California Republic, which I like that one. So let me go, let me go get something. Let me, let me show you why I'm excited about this. So this here is uh, my coat. It is a gaming esports jacket. Ugh. Okay. This is my coat here. Where you go? California flag, new California Republic flag. So I've got a YouTube logo on this one arm, and this is it's, it's on with Velcro. Um, and here, and then boom! I got this YouTube gaming logo on this one. I would totally, totally do a New California Republic on this arm. I would totally do this. So I am going to go get uh, Velcro, like scratchy, scratchy Velcro to put on this one. Yeah, this is, this is, what's up, Brooke? This is different than the California flag. A, he's a mutated bear with two heads. And B, it says New California Republic. <laughs> So this is cool. As for the other two, Minutemen, you know how much I hated stinking Preston Garvey and his settlement. Another settlement needs more help. Normal people won't notice. We better look closer because that bear has two heads. And then the Raiders, like I said, would you guys recognize this as a Raiders logo? I, I would not. I would not. But this one, this one's cool. So. We got one thing out of this floor. Don't forget the Canadian pride patch. Don't have one of those. Raiders have logos? Yeah. They're all like anti disestablishmentarianism They don't have logos, do they? Oh, we got the pin. This pin is going out to Jazzy. She's not here right now, but Jazzy gets my entire collection of pins. I have a pile over there for her, so here you go. Um, uh, no, I'll leave it in the plastic. So this is the crate number four. Oh, it's the, the theme is Brotherhood of Steel. That's why I'm not gonna dig this one. I'm not gonna dig it because I don't like Brotherhood of Steel. I believe they're all tools with sticks up their butts. Did I say that? Yes, I did. Um, so this is kind of cool. He's like kind of like a, a sniper looking. Oh, Rook, you get out of here, Rook. This quality stream is the highest quality stream you will ever see out of me ever again. Because I'm host. Because Comcast refuses to fix my internet. So I'm just going to get a wireless card for my new beast of a PC. And we're just going to tether to my phone. And I'm going to stream from my phone. Because guess what? My phone LTE gets better signal than my etherneted with a brand etherneted PC with a brand new router. 
This is for Jazzy. Okay, what else is in here? I still don't believe, ooh, is this a box of candy? I still don't believe I have received enough value. What the heck is this? This looks like a Brotherhood of Steel weird looking keychain thing. Wow, sad face, that's kind of tragic. Oh, yeah, it's true though. This is weird. All right, so it's a Brotherhood keychain down here, but like, what? what is this little turd on the top? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Survival rope keychain, but like, Maybe Jazzy wants this too. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not having I'm not having a lot of good luck. Okay, what's this? Power armor. It says power armor. That's one of those things you made as kids. Screenshots. Loot crate screenshots. Where's my camera? Loot crate screenshots. Power armor. Bethesda, Bethesda, power armor. I don't know what this is. Untie it and find out. Wait, am I supposed to untie it? There's nothing in it. Ugh. Flash drive? Why would they give us a flash drive? Nobody uses flash drives anymore! We're in the future! We all use Google Docs. Google Drive, don't we? Is that just me? If it was a USB stick, it would say, like it usually on the box, whoop, it said it would say how big it is. You have a good night, Barbara. I'm going now. Have a good night, Rambo. Thank you so much for dropping by. Hopefully you want to get new internet back. Oh, Angel, you are right. Beer bee. Angel got it. Angel got it. So, if you, oh, geez. If you remember, um, as you purchase every single crate, you get another part of this guy um, <laughs> to, like you're building this guy. You'll notice he has no arms. Um, so this is very confusing. He has no arms, but I have his gun. Hey, nerdy freak fan, what's up? What's up? So how does this work? Dun -dun 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 -dun. So here we go, we've got this gun. It has a long stick on it right here. And so it must go somewhere. Where does he have a hole? Where would this go? Or do I have to just, there's no way, there's no way I would have to wait to get arms for this guy. Like why would they just give me this? He's harmless. Captain Flack, I see what you did there, man. I see what you did there. Okay, you guys look at the back. I'll look at the front. Do you see where this little thing would get slotted into? You got trolled. You got a gun but no arms. I, I don't have the right to bear arms because I don't have any. <laughs> His bum. Colby, I don't think... No, like you guys look on that side. No. His knee joints don't bend. You know what's cooler than this? My Nendroid. My Nendroid's way cooler than this. This is a piece of junk. Nope, doesn't fit. Oh, the arms are in the crate. Oh, oh, the arms are in the crate. I have a box of arms. Woo! Why, thank you, why, thank you, Esteban. Esteban's like, come on, dummy. Come on, you you need arms? You got arms, they're just in the box. You haven't opened them yet. Okay, <laughs> there's literally just a box of two arms. Oh, Lee, thank you. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. Ooh. Hey, two arms in a box. Alright! Much better! Let's give this guy... Now it's always, these things are always a super tight fit. <clears throat> Do 
This is definitely not attached to his arm in the back. Okay, that's on. He definitely has a funky looking slot in his hand. But what would fit in it? What would fit? Have I done this wrong? Let me pull his arm off again. <clears throat> like this? I don't know how guns work. The question. I don't know if this fits, guys. We might have to pull out. We might have to pull open the box. This this doesn't look like it's gonna fit. All right, let's put him over here. Let's let's we can get the instructions. Okay. Too much garbage with these crates. Okay, what else is in here? Oh, we got a print. We got a Brotherhood of Steel print. I forget what this thing's called. This is their like their massive, massive airship. Uh, that I actually I had a lot of fun screwing around on their airship. Don't know how guns work. No, I'm very, very anti-gun. The very end of the gun slides into his fist. True. No. Nope. Nope. Not really. I don't think that's how that works. The question. <clears throat> like this? Is this how it works? Is this how you? This isn't how you hold a gun, is it? Control that of fifty more dollars. I mean, it's worth it because you guys love my opening all these boxes. <laughs> right? So it's worth it for entertainment value, but it's not worth it for box of junk value. Everyone. <laughs> oh, and Dojo, I'm streaming from my phone. Guess what? My next stream is going to be pub Fortnite. Actually, it's going to be Fortnite. I'm going to tether my beast of a PC to my phone because it's the only internet I have. <laughs> oh, man. I just can't get the right angle because there's like, there's like this breath wire in the way. Where's the hole? Ooh, 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 ooh! Okay, this is definitely it. This is definitely how you do it. There you go! Here is what I would believe to be a completed power armor. They said we need to wait for all six crates. Um... But I'm only at four crates, and he looks pretty complete to me, right? We, find, we have two legs, we got the body, we got the the head, two arms, and a gun. What more does... Mmm, a dog meat. Maybe he needs a dog! I just like puppies. Okay, let's put on a stand. Just do Fortnite Mobile. No! No! Maybe he has a minigun? Kinda, he kinda stands up. He kinda stands up. He only has one foothold, so he kinda, he kinda sits backwards a little bit. Okay! So that. I'm confused. What in this was worth $50? Okay, let's review, because this contains all of the stuff. I'm no expert, but power armor has outer shells of armor. No, this is the outer shell of armor. This is, this is, like, this is the power armor. I mean, it's detailed and it's cool. And it'll sit and collect dust. I call all action figures dust collectors, except these ones. This one. And this one. Because these are my favorite. Okay, so let's review everything that came in this $50 box. I do not think there was anything in here that was worth $50, so let's review again. So, first things first, Liberty Prime t-shirt. 
Like I knew that was, like I knew that was Liberty Prime. Thank you, Lay, for reminding me that I shot some guys on the side of this guy's head. Um, Paladin Dance figure, not worth it. Not worth it. Um, a power armor, build a figure arms. Why, thank you for finally giving him arms for my dust collector. But that's not really valuable. Um, a factions patch set. One of those is cool. This one will get Velcro. Brother to Steel Keychain. Mm, yep, don't really need a keychain. And a pin. I'm confused. A $10 toilet sitter. A $10 Star Wars Rebel fighter who's not in a plane. I want a refund. Now, it could just be that I'm in a super, super, um, testy? Is that the right word? T testy, is testy the right word? Pissed off? Is that a better word? <laughs> this is the Comcast of crates. It could just be that I'm in a funky mood, but this is so not worth it. Literally nobody could look at what is included in this and say that is worth $45 at all. At all! Irritated? Miffed. Miffed! What have I missed, Beastie? I got a bunch of junk in my box and none of it is worth worthwhile. This? This doesn't even look like a Fallout character. What is this? Um, so wait, Dojo's saying, what I'm saying is, in Fallout form, when you break an arm or chest, it goes away and goes into your inventory. It's broken, but the armor's still on you. Ah, you're saying there might be, there might be some, some more junk, some more dust, collect, dust collectors. There might be. Fun fact, plastic dinosaurs are tiny dinosaurs. Plastic dinosaurs are tiny dinosaurs made from dinosaurs. Is that because dinosaurs make up plastic? Ah, <sighs> disgruntled. Ooh, disgruntled. I'm so disgruntled. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oil. Um, if I were to buy all of these things priced out differently on Amazon, if I was, which I wouldn't buy any of this, um, how much would it be? Not $45. Now, we do get the box, and the box has this questionable image of Paladin Dance. Not going to be keeping this box. This is not... He's Like I said, he's not my favorite. I don't like the Brotherhood of Steel at all. They're tools. Complete tools. I'd buy this patch. I would buy this patch. I'd buy this patch off eBay from China for 99 cents, and I would wait six to eight weeks for it to be delivered. Yes, I would. I would wait. <laughs> Flamingo Flux. Thank you so much for the $3 super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the Paladin Dance low-key looks like a white drake. Yes, super chat. Thank you. I mean, with a side of SARS? Ouch! Wait, you're saying my patch would come with a side of SARS? Or you, it looks like Paladin Dance has a side of SARS. Ouch, indeed. Indeed. I don't know. I'm bummed. I'm bummed, guys. Ooh. I'm bummed for more than one reason. A, I feel ripped off. Um, and B, I'm just, I'm just super, super bummed. Pull up updates! Ah, uh, I do have an update. I have graduated from a purple band to green band. I no longer need the purple band at all. Which is fantastic, because the purple band is like, like you're barely even playing. <laughs> um, yeah, pull-ups, pull-ups actually are going pretty well. Pretty well. I think, so we're done with the unboxing. Tuesdays are when I plan to hang out with you guys. This is as much content as I have planned tonight because as I sit here running speed tests in the background, I have no internet. So this is what you get. We can we can do Q and A's. We can, I don't know, play I Spy with my little eye or something, but uh, this was the entire Fallout Loot Crate. I think we have determined that this crate is a waste of money and it was not good. And I am tempted, tempted to send an email to Loot Crate Gaming and be like, seriously? Seriously? This is what you think my hard-earned money should go towards? Okay, I've got one megabit up. All the crates are bad. Um, wait, we had that one that had cool stuff. What was that? Um, 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 
We had that one. Now what was in it? <laughs> uh, none of the t-shirts have been awesome. None of the other dust collectors that I have over there have been awesome. They're just there so I can have the whole set and show you guys off the whole set when we're done. And then, I don't know, giveaway? What's up, Ivy Mike? You've been killing it. Absolutely killing it with the, um, No Man's Sky streams. You've been pulling like 70, 80, 100 people watching you. Awesome job. I'm so happy for you. Um, no, the first, the first one, no. The first one had junk. I, I'm looking at, we've got these um, these sunglasses over here. Those were kind of cool, but I need prescription sunglasses because I can't see a thing. So, you know. Um, Carmen, what have we ever received in a, in a Loot Crate box that was awesome? Nothing. Nothing. I don't think anything. I don't know, not much. Yeah, not much at all. Sunglasses are pure awesomeness? I mean, they are. These are cool sunglasses. I have them right here. From Fallout Loot Crate, any Loot Crate, actually, any. Like, have we, have we ever received anything, anything awesome? Oh, wait, this was kind of cool. Nuke World. Oh, and I wear I wear the Nuke World t-shirt. It's actually, it's hanging up there clean, but yeah, yeah, that, that red Nuke World t-shirt, that was kind of cool. The future, wait, you want the future, wait, Beastie, I, I'm not kidding, I will mail those to you. I am looking at those like I need to throw them out because I don't need beer koozies. Oh, it's too bright in here. Too bright. Oh, I feel so protected by my awesome Fallout sunglasses. Oh, yeah. Um, some were cool, but not awesome. Nothing has ever been awesome in any of these bucks or junks, unfortunately. But yeah, Beastie, if you want those Slurms beer koozies, those are all yours. I would, I would 100% send them. I can't see. Who would I turn the lights off? See, I know right where I keep them. Here, this, Beastie, one, two, these are yours. Who wants the Nuka-Cola Quantum ones? <laughs> Yeah, they've never been used. They just sit up in my cupboard in a pile like this and I'm like, mm, I could use that cupboard space. Yes, look, oh, I didn't even realize I still have the sticker on them. Yeah, I'm so cool. Done. Done. <laughs> Gave her fit. <laughs> oh, Beastie, I don't know. I don't know. That's a tough question. It's up to you. It's totally up to you, man. <laughs> you always finish your beer before you remember to use a koozie? Uh, yeah, actually, I would probably be the same way. Finish my cider. And actually, like, for a lot of these things, the ciders that I get are in, like, non-standard, non-standard sizes. And so they, they often just don't fit. They don't fit. That sticker proves they are very authentic. Mm, it just says that they have UV 400 protection. <laughs> um, uh, Leif, what did you just pre-order? And Jimmy, am I gonna start Red Dead? Yes. So I actually started playing Red Dead on Sunday. I started recording uh, and hit a dead end. It, there was too much story. It was like the first hour of Red Dead Redemption is just story and cutscene. And so the video that I filmed for all of you, which I had thought would be awesome before I started, was really just me sitting there watching cutscenes, which is not awesome. So I just got into the gameplay on it, um, and I'm hoping maybe it's nine o'clock, I could do maybe an hour's worth of filming tonight, and yes, upload it in time for Christmas. Christmas indeed. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Red Dead, I think will be coming, but next week, actually, Guacamelee 2 comes out, is it next week or the week after? So I'm excited to start that. 
um, if, you know, my internet gets fixed by then. That's it. I'm just, I'm sitting here. I'm at the whims, the whims of Comcast. Let me just run the speed test again. How has your past week been? Uh, I spent my entire weekend setting up this new beast of a computer. It has all of the games on it that I would love to play with you guys. They all run perfectly. Um, I can stream and encode at 1080p. Oh, it's going. It went to two. It went to two! Oh, now it's dropping back off. Um, uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? Um, I'll be able to stream at higher quality. I'll be able to f film and upload at higher quality. So I'm excited about all of that. Um, I just can't use it right now for doing any of this stuff. Um, Ivy Mike, funny story about that. Would you guys like to hear a funny story? Um, some folks popped into uh, popped into my Discord last night, and um, we. We, um, I went on a bit of a Twitter rant, or a, a Discord rant about Comcast. Um, they did offer me, so I have been on the phone with Comcast every single day, uh, to say, hey, here's what you said yesterday you would do. I'd like a status update today about how, what your progress was on getting that done. So, I have called them every single day. Um, what, Saturday or Sunday I phoned and talked to somebody and I got it escalated up to a supervisor. And so supervisor gets on the phone and I'm kind I'm like, I'm trying to be very nice because nobody on the phone wants to be yelled at. It's not the person, whoever I'm talking to, it's not their fault. They're simply a middleman who's trying to debug with me and figure out what's going on. So I'm trying to be as pleasant as possible so we can all like figure this out together and have it be good and, have, and not annoy people. Um, and so I'm kind of just saying like, yo, I am paying for 15 up and I'm currently getting 0.72 up. This does not seem fair that you are not delivering on what I am paying for. And so I said that and he's like, oh, okay, wait, give me a second, give me a second. And he like, look, look, look. He's like, how long has this been down for? And I was like, well, it's been a week now um, since I have officially filed, but I feel like some of you, if you've been on my streams, like, you know, it's been flaky. I feel like for about a month. Oh, thank you, Comcast! Please fix it! Uh, and so I was like, officially a week since I have like logged it with you, but it's been about a month. And he's like, oh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, okay. Um, how does a $30 credit sound to you? Do you mind to pay $150 a month on internet? So he wants to give me 30. And I was like, okay, fine. Like, whatever. Like, I, I don't, I don't care about the money, but thank you. I was being gracious. Yes, thank you. Great. So he then takes like 10 minutes to process, like figuring out how to actually give me the credit. And he ends with, you know, it's not gonna be retroactively applied. It'll be at some future, um, on a future bill that comes in, uh, they, there will be a $30 credit applied. And I was like, great. And then he says, <clears throat> okay, that sounds good. Now, was there anything else we can help you with tonight? And I was like, well, could you, could fix my internet? <laughs> and I said, the money is nice, um, but my internet still doesn't work. So you guys, like, I got nowhere. <laughs> and he was like, oh, oh, right. Okay, let's go look at this. I was like, are you kidding me? I'm like, are you kidding me? I phoned and you tried to like swat me away and say like, and like just drop or you forgot, like you weren't gonna help me or anything. You're just like, let's throw $30 at the problem and see if that will just get the customer to go away and be okay with not having internet. Is Comcast the only option? So in my meantime, in the spare time, cause I got a lot of spare time being grumbly and upset. I have been phoning other um, internet providers in my city and I've been emailing a couple of them saying like, hey, what do you provide in terms of service to my building? I need at least 10 megabits per second up, at least. Comcast is the only option for my building. My building is only wired uh, with um, Comcast right now. And um, so this is the only option. That's it. That's it. Um, so that's kind of why I am at my wits end. Um, where that supervisor left things was like, he's like, well, 
Oh yeah, it was on it was on Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday of last week. He's like, well, we need to send a technician to your house. I was like, okay. Um, you came to my house on Saturday. You should have a log of all the things that they ran. And he's like, we have no log of anybody coming to your house. I was like, what? You had a man in my house at 8 a.m. in the morning on Saturday, sitting on my couch right here, fiddling, and he gave me a brand new router. And ha Do you not have a record? They're like, we have no record, so we need to send somebody else to your house. I was like, excuse me. Ex like, we have already done this. You want to send somebody to my house to reset my router and just tell me again, it's a networking issue. The person who comes to sit on my couch can't help me. It needs to be somebody else. And they were like, yes, we need to send somebody to your house. So I was like, great, fine, schedule it. Send somebody to my house, fix my internet. So Saturday morning, nine o'clock, knock at my door. The same person who came here last Saturday came back again. He didn't even come in. He's like, well, it seems like we still haven't fixed your internet. He's like, there's nothing more for me to do here. We just have to wait for the networking guys to go do their networking thing. And then he brought out his phone. And he was like, look, he showed me a map, a neighborhood map. He like, it had my apartment and like, it must've been like two or three city blocks all around my apartment. And he, and it had a bunch of red dots all over it. He's like, look, that is where everybody else is being affected. It's not just you. And then he like swiped up from the bottom and it had a table of um, people's internet speeds. Um, so it had their upload, their download, it had a ton of information that I probably shouldn't have seen. Um, and then he like scrolled over to their uploads and it was all in red and it was all small numbers. And he's like, look, everybody is being affected here. The networking guys have to go do their thing. And so I was like, great, you've confirmed it's not just me. It has nothing to do with my router or my modem or the cables downstairs in my building, which we've checked out all of these things. It has nothing to do with that. It is a networking issue. What's the status on getting the networking person to do anything? Well, so he opened up some tickets cause he has been um, filing tickets as in like screenshotting them and sending them to me. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, and the logs of the tickets are, so they'll get a networking person to go out and check things. And then they will say, um, we see no issue. He, the, this tech says anytime he has come, he has seen the issue. He's run a bunch, we ran a bunch of speed tests together. He's like, your internet is not okay. He showed me his, his thing on his phone. He's like, your internet is not okay. When the networking tech goes out to fix it, he sees no issue. And so he just logs, issue has been fixed and just does whatever else he needs to do. And this has been happening every single day because I keep calling him every single day. Every single day, the person who's supposed to fix it doesn't see the issue. What's up, Wesley? It's Randy story time with me. Um, because as I understand it, so would you like to know what the crux of the issue is? What I have been told, a phone call that this tech did, phone his bud. He said, hey, I, he said, I have a friend who works on the networking team. And he said, I'm going to call him because it's a networking issue and I want to see what's going on, see if it's a known issue. So he called and put him on speakerphone. And the guy on speakerphone said, oh yeah, it's bad. It's real bad. He said that like three times and the guy here was like, oh, what is it? What is it? So AT&T U-verse, AT&T shares Comcast lines uh, and like they share the same cable system. And so AT&T U-verse is a TV provider option. Um, and what it is, is somebody in my neighborhood had AT&T U-verse installed. And as a TV company, um, TV doesn't like, they don't want you to like watch the TV and then re-upload it somewhere else. And so what they do is they install filters on network nodes to say, filter out all uploads that are coming from here because nobody from here should be uploading at this ridiculously high rate that streamers need to be able to do. Especially if they have this TV signal, which we need to protect. Great. Um, so they put a filter on some networking node in my neighborhood that just filters all upstream traffic with the attempt of just catching, casting a wide net and saying like, hey, we don't want anybody to upstream any of our TV content. Which means I get affected. Um, so what this networking person has to go do is find the node that the filter has been applied to, 
at the time when somebody is using AT&T UVerse. Because that is the only time the issue presents itself, then they can go find it and they can take it out and, and stop it. Like take the filter out, that's what he said, take the filter out. Because I had one brief moment of awesomeness late last night and Leif can attest to it. So, neighbor Dave, my friend Dave, living over, we have the exact same internet, Comcast business class. So I was like, like, he checked it out last night and he's like, I'm hosed just like you, I'm hosed. Dave get, was getting the exact numbers that I get. So Dave can't stream uh, either. And so Dave got really pissed off and I was like, don't worry, Dave, I'm texting with the supervisor. Like, don't, I got you, We're, I'm helping out both of us. And then as Dave and I are texting, this is late last night, he's like, yo, Barb, I just got 20 up. And I ran my speed test and I was getting 20 up. And what we think it is based on all of the information that I have heard from everybody who I've talked to is that person who was watching TV turned off their stinking TV. And because they turned off their TV, I could stream. So <clears throat> I will run the speed test and it will tell me that somebody's watching TV. And because of that, well, that number is way busted. <laughs> um, and because of that, I, I can't stream. It's like those old days. Remember those old days of dial up internet where you're like, mom, I need to research something for a school, uh, school project. Could you get off the phone? And your mom's like, but honey, I'm talking to my friend and just wait half an hour. And you would wait for your mom to hang up the phone. Sorry to be stereotypical. My mom talks on the phone a lot. She would hang up the phone. I would turn to my dad and I'd say, dad, can I have my internet? And da -da 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 -da. beep to boop, you get an internet, right? And only one person in the whole household could use the internet. It is exactly that, but with my neighborhood and somebody randomly watching TV. What am I supposed to do? Um, I had the genius idea last night that somebody in Discord was like, go do it. I want to put posters around my whole neighborhood to say, do you have UVerse? Stop! <laughs> Stop! Stop watching TV on Tuesday nights at eight. I don't care if you always have inter if you always have your TV on forever, forever. Just Tuesdays at eight. Don't watch TV, please. <laughs> please. Because right now I'm getting point six six up. So. <sighs> so. Like, the whole thing that the FCC is using to not take further action on some of these things is, oh, look, 12% of people are not monopolies. Yep, nothing I can do. Yep, I'm getting less than one up. I just keep, I just keep coming home from work, and I keep hitting that button just to see, is it the one brief moment where I have some more internet? Is this website your free test for something? Mm -hmm. Free test for what? Free test for what? Um, yes, and so Leif is saying, I bet it never seems to be found because whoever's watching TV isn't watching it during work hours when this tech goes out. Exactly! Exactly! This is my problem! And so as I am texting, and I wish I wasn't streaming on my phone so I could show you my text with the Comcast. So I have the personal number of the supervisor for Comcast for my city. I have his per personal number, and I'm calling him every day now. I called him at 2.30 to say, I have an event starting at 6 p.m. I need internet. What is going on? He texted me to say, I'll get back to you. Still waiting, man. Still waiting. It is now six hours later and I'm still waiting for you to please get back to me. Um, I texted him to let him know, hey, this is intermittent. It is fleeting. Um, I had good internet last night, but I don't right now. And he's like, thank you. We'll look into it. Whoop! Whoop! Don't, don't, don't push your hand down too hard. Oh, Billy! You mean Rodolfo? Actually, should I give all of you his phone number? Should we, should we SWAT Comcast guy and be like, fix your internet? Good idea, bad idea. Good idea, bad idea. Ah! <laughs> oh!
don't do TV over internet, please. I know, I know. And like I said, it feels to me, it feels super inappropriate for me to complain about this. I don't mean to come across as complaining on Twitter or anything, but I am at my wits end. I literally do not know what else I can possibly do. I don't know who I can talk to. Um, I'm DMing with Comcast Cares multiple times every single day. Um, yeah, for you, it's going in your pile. Do you like keychains too? You can have this. <laughs> uh, but no, Jazzy, this is for you. You missed it earlier. If you if you could scroll back, you would see. I'm saying like this pin is Jazzy's. It's her pin. Um, I don't know what to do. I just I feel like I feel like I'm just at the whims of these people not getting back to me. Like, and I don't, it's not his fault. It's not the supervisor's fault, right? It's not anybody's fault. It's not the person's fault who's watching TV. They, because they don't know what it, like they don't know, hey, like I'm so excited to get new TV and everything. Like they don't know that I'm affected. They don't know that Dave's affected. They don't know that anybody who stream, um, they don't. It's just circumstances and situations has like placed me in this. And, um, and so I don't, I don't want to be rude to anybody here. Well, yeah, I do think it's a little weird for you to place a generic filter that just filters out all traffic. You should be sitting there and like sniffing for packets that are like AT&T U-verse protected, whatever, whatever, and do something with that. Like don't, don't filter everybody. That seems odd. Seems odd for AT&T to be throttling Comcast traffic that Comcast people are paying for. Okay. That makes me upset. Um, you could start a serious Twitter campaign, but we'll, what I will say is at Comcast Cares and I have been DMing um, for over a week now. Uh, I will say they are a horrible customer support. Horrible. Um, tell them you'll cancel your internet. They don't care about my money. They don't care about my business. They don't. <laughs> they don't. Um, so I, I don't think Twitter is going to do anything. Somebody on, on Twitter's Comcast did reply to me has replied to me publicly. Um, the issue that I have is I am DMing with Comcast Cares and I make a public tweet saying, you know, hey, Comcast is being a pain. That same person replies to my public tweet and they're like, oh, why don't you DM us your information so we can take a look and try to debug it? And it's like, I literally just texted you two minutes ago. Like, why are you acting like you don't know who I am when you're texting with me and you have full contacts about everything, like don't publicly tell people, oh, hey, we'll be happy to help you. Uh, Chris, it is the same person. So um, they sign all of their messages with their initials. So I have been talking to about 10 different people, but they do, they're signing it with, with all of their initials. And I'm going to make an assumption that um, people aren't signing with other people's names, right? Because I'll get one person DM and it'll be like uh, GP and then I'll get another person like immediately after who's like uh, RWK and then immediately I'll get some MK something else. Um, so I'm getting different people like DMing me. So I don't think it makes sense that the public person would be spoofing this other person in like in a dumb way. That's what I'm saying. Comcast is sliding into my DMs, yeah, but they're getting me nothing. <laughs> in which case, yeah, horrible incentives, right? That's that's exactly what I think it is. I think overall, I'm just disappointed with the million dollar company Comcast operating and having horrible customer support practices. The thing that has bothered me so much is as I call them every day, they are not keeping logs of my phoning. They are not keeping logs of my issues. So every person who I talk to, I have to re-explain from scratch what the issue is, who I have talked to, what people are doing about it. And then I have to read off I have all sorts, all sorts of tickets that have been filed. So I have all sorts of ticket numbers and then read off the ticket numbers. And some of them people are telling me that's not a real ticket. I'm like, well, I'm not making up this number. <laughs> I'm not making this up. I don't know. <laughs> um, and so it, it's just, it's very frustrating that they don't have a customer support 
customer relationship management tool that actually retains state or logs or anything, it, it feels to me. And so you're starting from scratch every single time and you're getting a new person on the phone every single time. And they don't understand anything that you're saying because you're like, no, no, don't worry. Like, I talked to somebody, they said this is an issue. And they're like, okay, but I think this is the issue. And you're like, no, no, I've talked to three people. That is definitely not the issue. And they're like, okay, I hear you, customer. But actually, I think this is the issue. Uh, yes, so Chris, Chris is right. I do not think they care about keeping me as a customer. Um, and I don't bugging. All they want to do is reset my modem. Uh, and ask me to reset my modem and then send a person out to my house. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, the best thing, the best thing is that you tell them you'll go to a competitor, they will jump. I don't, I really don't think they will because I have such ridiculous internet needs. I, it's, it, very few people can offer what it is that I need. <laughs> um, the technician will tell them, yes. Um, the other thing that I have found very interesting, people on the phone, who I talk to on the phone at their like their main phone call centers are only authorized to do this much debugging. Um, and then beyond that point, they say, we have to send somebody to your house. There's nothing more that we can do. And um, even though I say, hey, you've already sent somebody to my house, they say, yes, we realize that, but we have to send somebody else because we can't do anything that we're empowered to file the types of tickets that you need. And I say, it's a networking issue. We all agree, no, it's a networking issue. You can see it on the phone call as I'm talking to you right now. Why don't you file the networking ticket? And they say, we don't have authorization to file networking tickets. We need to send somebody to your house. Only the person who comes to your house can file anything other than resetting your modem or sending somebody to your house. That's all the people on the phone can do. Reset your modem, send somebody to your house, and probably help with billing stuff. Oh, thank you, Han Solo Burger. I love my dad shirt too. <sighs> Did the person who come reset my router? Um, he d he reset my modem and then he, got, he gave me a brand new modem. So it's great. My download speed has increased um, twofold because uh, I now have a modem that supports the traffic. That's fantastic. But I don't care about download. <laughs> I am the like one internet user who does not care about download speed. Thank you, slow download speeds. Just let me upload my sweet bits. What's up, Matt Ben? How's it going? Um, do I have any other options? No, I do not. Uh, so I've said this a couple times. I have been phoning other um, internet providers, and this is it. This is the Comcast is the only the only company who has wired my building with the, the tubes that are big enough. All the other tubes are clogged and too tiny. Too tiny. Uh, so, I don't know. Does anybody else like, I'm sure you've all dealt with horrible customer support. That's that's kind of the, the end of my rant. That's like, that's all the information I have. I'm just sitting on video. I was like, okay, so I just have to sit and twiddle my thumbs and wait for somebody to do something and I can't use internet for my business. And they say, yep, is there anything else we can help <laughs> I should start advocating for a municipal broadband network that's your solution it's gonna take five years but we'll do it I mean even if you get it um, in uh, the city that you were located in which is not my city um, how will that help my city <laughs> I don't know I just don't think it'll work I don't know I'm just I'm so bummed I think she's Apple um, I phones. I've got an Android phone. I have an Apple phone. I'm, I'm on an iPhone uh, X right now. Contact a local TV reporter. Hmm. One of my close friends. His wife does work for my local uh, NPR radio station. Maybe she. Maybe she can come talk to me. <laughs> Move. Ah, oh, not an option. I've been here for six years. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. I love my apartment. <sighs> so I don't know any other advice yeah no like I don't think bringing press to this is gonna help people move faster it's my understanding that people are trying to help me the network tech goes out and he sees no issue assumes it's fixed closes a ticket 
And then I have to keep phoning to say, no, you didn't fix it. It's just not an issue right now. It's intermittent. Because I am getting it right now. And so this is why I'm constantly taking screenshots and sending these things out. I promise you I'm not making this up. Eric was like, oh, you photoshopped it. I'm not. I'm not. I promise I'm not. <laughs> Burn down all apartments. You be careful saying things like that. There are fires, serious fires in my neighborhood all the time. All the time. Contact a lawyer. I'm Canadian. We don't, we don't do lawyers. Do I know anybody at Comcast? I do not. No, I also don't think it would help me at all. T Mac Music! Thank you so much for the five pound super chat. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I like I don't like Chris, I don't know what I can do other than keep being a persistent pain. 50 likes hype? No, oh, I'm at 49, I'm at 49 likes. 49 likes. You've had Comcast for years, no choice where you lived. They are terrible. They want their money. Yes. Hashtag thank you, TMAC. Thank you. What's up, Last Temptation? How's it going? Good to see you. You left cable years ago. You went to DSL? I started on DSL. I had an awesome DSL provider, uh, but they maxed that at one megabit up in my building. I mean, you know somebody who works at Comcast who could help, but I already have the supervisor. What you need is a human who can come out and fix something at night. Yes. Uh, the problem is the supervisor has told me to stop phoning him after 4 p.m. Because his business hours are 7 to 4. And I am being a pain. Holy bejesus! 61 likes? <laughs> oh, jeez! Uh, thank you guys. <laughs> be a persistent pain. It can be fun. No. You know what? It is not fun right now. I was telling some folks on Discord last night also. I just, I feel crummy. I feel like I am letting you down. I have, for the past three years, Tuesdays, 8 p.m. PST. This is what I do. No! <laughs> button that has any good raid sounds on it. What is up, King Cornfish Raiders? Welcome to the stream. My name is Barbara. If you're watching Vinny Sleep Block on Friday, so you were listening to that ghostly voice at the end. I'm Barb. How's it going? Welcome, Raiders. This is not the usual stream that I do. You're raiding your rant. Um, okay. Uh, I usually game on Tuesday and fun random video games. Unfortunately, my internet has been down for three weeks. Three weeks, three Tuesdays in a row. I can't stream except for my phone. Um, so I'm really just unboxing some junk, some figurines and some stuff. And I'm just talking and ranting about Comcast because I have no internet. I can't stream. I can't upload. I can't play multiplayer games. But thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much for coming through on the raid. Um, King Corfish is an awesome Pokemon uh, player. I was lurking in your stream yesterday, sir. You were with uh, Keyshawn. I was lurking. I was lurking. You were playing Octopath Traveler. How was uh, Ryan's stream tonight? How was it? How was it? So welcome, everybody. I'm um, sure to subscribe button if you would like to help me hit my goal of reaching 10k. 10k subs this year. I think we can do it with Ryan and Vinny and everybody else's help. We are going to get there. I know we can. Hey, hey, Artsy Wheel. How's it going? Beep, beep. I'm a sheep. Whoop. Woo! Bat is here. Firestorm, Artsy, Will, Last Temptation. What's up? Um, Barb, do all your neighbors have the same issue? Yes, can confirm. My neighbors all have the exact same issues. Um, the Everything here. For what it's worth, so Chris is saying, for what it's worth, I think you've done everything you can. There's nothing more you can do. Document as best you can when things go bad. And set up an automated speed test. Final Space Girl for life! Thanks for hitting that subscribe button. Jazzy, show us the figure pieces. You know... King Corfish, yeah, he's Ryan for Sleepball Call. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we, we have virtually met kind of face to face, kind of, kind of. <laughs> um, that would give you the ability to tell things go bad. Um, yeah, I mean, things are always bad except at weird, awkward times of the day. Um, yeah, that's it. Artsy Will, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Thank you, thank you. 
<laughs> uh, T-Mac Music, today is, today's your birthday? Happy birthday! Happy birthday! 76 likes, woo woo! Uh, so yes, I usually, I usually do play video games, but today, today I'm just sitting here talking and ranting, telling you stories. What do you want to know? I'll rant about that. <sighs> They're not bad when the tech comes out. Yes, they are bad um, Saturday mornings at 8 and at uh, 9 when, whenever the tech comes to my apartment, he says, yes, I can see the issue. The person on the phone says, yes, I can see the issue. When I talk to the supervisor, I get nothing. When the supervisor sends a tech out to the networking node, he sees nothing, marks it as fixed. Have you checked with building management? They don't care. <laughs> My building managers do not care. T Mac Music, thank you for subscribing off stream. Thank you, thank you. Good night, final space group for life. I will see you next Tuesday slash next. Ooh, I hope I can stream. I hope I miss it. The Lime Films, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, the building. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Lime Films. Thank you. Uh, yeah, building manager can't help. My building manager lives an hour away. Um, essentially, like, whatever internet you want, you figure that out. That's all on you. Jacob! Barb, I found you from the sleep block, liking your content. Oh, thank you, Jacob! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for clicking through and watching. Um, gotta run, nice ranting. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm here, always, always a good time ranting with me. <laughs> um, have a good night, sir. Have a good night. I think this is probably gonna be it for me. I don't really have anything else to rant about right now. This is the number one one thing I am grumpy about. This is the number one thing causing stress in my life over the past three weeks. So I feel like I'm letting you guys down. Um, so I am so, so fortunate, so lucky enough that many of you um, kind of duel and come and hang out and know like Tuesdays, eight o'clock, Barb Tuesdays. This is like, this is when I go and I watch Barb and I'm so grateful and I'm so lucky to be able to have that. Um, that now when I'm not able to provide that content, I really just feel like I'm letting everybody down. Um, and I'm not kidding the weight that I feel the stress and the pressure of I'm trying to do my best, but there's nothing I can do. I just, I feel crummy. It makes me so crummy. It makes me feel so crummy that there's just nothing I can do to fix this. That like, that's the whole like side personal anguish angle is I just feel horrible. And I know, is there an earthquake? I just got a text from a friend who lives three blocks that way. He thinks there's an earthquake. Did I jiggle? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I didn't feel an earthquake. I didn't feel an earthquake. I don't know. I think, I think Daniel's fibbing. I think he's fibbing. For all I know, he's lurking here. Um, Artsy Will Creations, two questions. What's my favorite color? This blue and this yellow. Favorite colors, blue and yellow. Um, you make friendship anklets and bracelets. I'm not a jewelry person. I don't wear anything. I'm not a fan uh, in general. Do I have 4G LTE? I have LTE, Barb. The only thing I would say is that if you can give them a log of speed test every 15 minutes, and that shows it's good sometimes and bad sometimes, it might help get somebody off hours. That's what I've been doing. So I have been texting the supervisor screenshots of the speed test going up and down. He says, thank you, that's, that's useful. Um, but then I still haven't heard anything. The struggle is that Comcast only, um, they work business hours. And so they tried to send a standby guy last night, but I don't know if that actually happened. Barbara rant should become a regular thing. Oh, I got lots of things that I could rant about. I could do some good CPG rants. I could do it. Um, I, but there's... There's no way I can tether and stream from my phone. There's no way. Like, um, it's not going to be the quality that you guys deserve. Favorite college football team? Sports ball? Mm, nope. 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 Sports ball. Not my jam. Um, don't watch sports ball. Won't do it. Just till till 5G happens. Oh, I wish. I wish. Always fun chat. Yes. Everything Star Wars. Thanks for coming by. Um, holy jeez. There was an earthquake? Also, CPG! Thank you, thank you for your twenty dollars super chat. Can we get a hashtag CPG to thank him so much for that? It's an earthquake, and I, I, I was ranting so hard I missed it. What? <laughs> Do you, I speak French? Oui. Je parle français. Je parle français. Um, 
Petit pas. But I am getting better because I practice every single day. I practice French every single day. You like bar rants? Done. Give me topics. I will rant about lots of things. Oh, yeah, Leif. Did you feel anything? I didn't feel anything. Um, I do have fiber. I just don't have fiber in my individual building. Oh, bar rage! Yes, actually, TMAC. Um, sponsors have a barb rage um, emoji. Let me, let me show you that one. Barb rage. Ah, this is how I feel. I feel like the Hulk and I just want to smash a lot of things. My rant was so strong it started an earthquake. <laughs> There's no earthquake. Um, what are my new PC specs? Um, it's hard to feel your cause them. Um, yeah, by rage. <laughs> um, what are my new PC specs? So I have 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 3200 megahertz. I have a 500 gig SSD and a two terabyte real hard drive with moving parts. I have some Republic of Gamers motherboard, cro oh, it's a Crosshair 6 motherboard. I have um, some souped up power supply box. And the thing that matters most in my GPU, I got a 1080 Ti something or other, and my CPU is a AMD Ryzen 2700X. Um, all future streams will have um, all of the information down in the description uh, so that you guys can see all the things I bought. I actually bought most of them on Amazon, and so I'll include links if you guys want the super power computer that I have. You can just click, click. Liquid cooling, I have hybrid liquid cooling. So yes, I do have liquid cooling in there. Yeah, um, it is a sweet, sweet computer. But so far, all I can do is browse the internet and download. Can't upload from it. Shirt suit, I thank you. Someone's television fell over and broke during their quick, quick check your internet speed. <laughs> um, wait, so Fios oversold the area a few years ago. Entire areas could not get um, less than 10% packet loss? Jeez. Jeez. And time will, will be okay? I know, but I'm impatient. I'm impatient! So impatient. They gave you a discount? Oh, I got my $30 credit. Beefy computer with no upload. Dun dun dun. Souped up. Oh, no, no, because Amazon. So I went in to buy the one that Phil recommended. And then Amazon had a, a discount on the more expensive one that actually made it cheaper than... So, like, the souped-up version was cheaper than the older edition. So I bought the souped-up one. And Phil was like, you don't need that power, but you might as well, in case you want to have two graphics cards. I was like, okay. <sighs> oh, I guess you could say you're part of Quake Gun now. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. <laughs> Um, you should add neon lights to the hard drive. I've got neon lights on the um, motherboard and on my graphics card. It looks really cool. Um, except with the way my case is sandwiched, I can't see it. <sighs> you can run benchmarks. Oh, I could run benchmarks. That could be fun. Let's do a stream of benchmarks. And I'll just show it on my phone. Snarky Barb. Yes. I'm annoyed. Am I hyped or not hyped for Fallout 76? Well, actually, that is something I should do tonight. So, at QuakeCon, Todd Howard and other folks who work on Fallout 76 got up on stage and did a, for like an hour and a half, answering everybody's questions. I have not watched that yet. I desperately wanted to stream that and do a live reaction series with you. I have not watched it. Um, so what I would like to do is kind of sit here, watch it, film my reaction, and take it to work and upload it. Um, because then, uh, it's answering a bunch of questions, uh, of things that I just, I would love to know more information about. I have pre-ordered, and so if I get a beta code, you better believe I'll be streaming it as soon as they let content people upload content. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to playing it, I'm just listening to the multiplayer aspect of it. Barb, go to the day. If you're thinking about being an arts and crafts channel, do it! Do it! Arts and crafts and WWE? I'm sure they fit together somehow. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm gonna play um, 
fallout or politic about your purchases. I mean, I will play Fallout later, in November. <laughs> I'm gonna play Detroit Become Human? No, probably not. It's just too much story. I don't do well with story games. Well, I, d I don't, because I, I don't like to read. Um, and it's so hard for me to entertain an audience and um, I try to read the story and pay attention to the story and like do a million things all at once. It's just not good. It's not good. Not at all. Not at all. So I think, I do, I think I'm going to call it quits. It is 9.30. This is prefer mayhem. Um, yes. Chaotic, chaotic neutral, chaotic, what, which one? Which one? Chaotic whatever. Chaotic good. Whatever those things are. Um, that's where I am on that spectrum. You're going to nuke all my friends. You build a life. We better be playing together. <laughs> um, if I don't, no, I just don't like to read stories in video games. Yeah. So, um, thank you so much for coming and watching me open box O junk. We got nothing valuable. I feel totally, totally, totally ripped off. Would we like to go to raid and pass on the love? Hey, if you're still here from the King Corfish raid, uh, I think we should definitely go send off some love onto somebody else. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Yes, Jazzy gets this. Um, let's see who's live right now. We got Briley Gaming, 10 Minute Break, Mr. Lazarus, Narcost, King Decker, Prize Fighter, Vlogging with Brandy, my phone, Cherry Blossom, Lord Rage, Rebel, Ace Boogs, or TG. Who do you want? Um, I don't know. Dead by Daylight, Doom, Pokemon Y, uh, World of Warcraft. Good night, Colby. Thank you so much for dropping by. Of course, typical gamer fan wants to go watch TG. <laughs> Let's see. Is anybody playing Fallout right now? Let's check my games list. Is anybody streaming Fallout? There are 20 people streaming Fallout right now. Oh, never mind. They're all radio stations. Radio stations or no selfie cam. Yep, no selfie cam on any of these things. Bummer! We only read selfie cams. Now, what about Super Mario Odyssey? Anything cool going on there? No selfie cams. Don't, I don't, it's not that I, uh, oh. sorry. It's not that I put down people with no selfie cam. It's just, I prefer to watch people selfie cam. So that's who I stick with for the raids, for the raids. Be patient. I am, uh, it's, it's going on three weeks. I'm being as patient as I can, as patient as I can. Um, so you want, you want price party? You want some new World of Warcraft? Done. We have not rated Kyle in forever. Oh, wait, somebody's phoning me. Uh, uh. Never mind, that's not my trainer. I got excited for a half second. You guys know the drill. Hashtag barbarian raid. I'm going to come along with you. I'm going to watch some welcome to at battle for or as a Roth gameplay. I'm going to come along too. Thank you so much. I really cannot. <laughs> um, thank you for all of your support and thank you so much for bearing with me through all of this. That's a link to my video. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, that's a link to my video. <laughs> ah, there you go. There you go. That's a link to Kyle's video. Let's go say hi to Mr. Price Fighter. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for pointing that out. Good job, streamer. And I literally see you as soon as I possibly can. I'm working on it. Hashtag Comcast does not care and they suck. <laughs>